Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where today we're going to interpret and evaluate a real-world function. We are given this question, which has four parts. A student received a gift card to use at a coffee shop. The student used the gift card to spend the same amount of money at the coffee shop every day until the remaining value of the card was zero dollars. This function, f of n, the value in dollars of the gift card after n days. So we have this function, f of n, which is equal to negative 2.5n plus 75 where n is the number of days that the card is used and f of n is the value on the gift card. Here's part a. Based on the function, what was the original value in dollars of the gift card? Show or explain how you got your answer. I'm going to ask you to pause now and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we're asked, based on this function that we're given, what was the original value in dollars of the gift card? So we want to recognize that this function is written in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where we have our original value, which is our b or our y-intercept, our initial value of the function, and that can be identified as the 75 in the function. So we know that the initial amount that this gift card was worth was $75, and our explanation, the y-intercept, represents the initial amount of the function, which is the initial value of the gift card. Here's part B. Based on the function, how much money in dollars did the student spend each day at the coffee shop? Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So again, we're looking for students spent each day. How much did that student spend each day using their gift card? And again, understanding that this function is in slope-intercept form, and we're looking for the unit rate, which is our slope. So each day, how much was spent each day, our unit rate, rate of change, is our slope, which in this function is the negative 2.5. It's the coefficient of our variable. It's negative because the student is spending money. It's coming off the gift card. So we can recognize that this negative 2.5 represents $2.50 being subtracted from the gift card every day. So the slope represents the unit rate or rate of the function, which is the rate the student spent each day at the coffee shop. Here's part C. What was the remaining value in dollars of the gift card after 20 days? Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So once again, we're looking here at our function, which is written in slope-intercept form, and we're asked to find the value of this gift card after 20 days of use. So we know that the number of days is n, n days. So we're going to replace n with the value 20. When we rewrite this function and evaluate, we're going to have negative 2.5 times 20, 20 days, plus 75. Negative 2.5 times 20 is negative 50. And then we need to add the 75, giving us 25. So we can say that after 20 days, there's $25 remaining on the gift card. Here's part D. How many days in total did it take until the remaining value of the gift card was zero dollars? Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So now we're still dealing with the fact that we have this written in slope-intercept form and we want to know how many days until the value of the gift card was zero. We know that this f of n represents the total amount on the gift card. So it started at $75, and we want to know if this is zero, how many days did it take to get there? So what is n? So we're going to replace f of n with zero and solve for n. So now I need to isolate this variable term. So I'm going to add 2.5n to each side, which gives me a zero pair here, and then I have 2.5n equals our 75. We're going to solve for n by doing the inverse of multiply by 2.5, and we're going to divide each side of the equation by 2.5. 
2.5 divided by 2.5 is 1, so 1n is just n, and then 75 divided by 2.5 is 30. So now we know that n is 30, the value on the gift card is $0, so that tells us that it takes 30 days, and that after 30 days of use, the remaining value of the gift card will be $0. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math to learn how to interpret and evaluate a real-world function. I hope you'll come back soon and join me where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.